Hey, what's up guys? I'm Timothy. And I'm Christian. And welcome back to Plant Rayburn. Let's get to some announcements. Are you a student who is actively involved in volunteer community service work? If the answer to the question is yes, then listen up, because this is the perfect opportunity for you. The, um, the National Association of Secondary School Principals is celebrating their youth volunteers through a prestigious award program called the Spirits of Community Program. The application is submitted online, and here is the information you need to know in order to apply. The website you need to visit to apply for this program is spirit.presidential.com. The program honors high school students for outstanding service to others at the local, state, and national levels. The deadline to apply for this program and to submit student applications is November 8th. To be eligible to apply for this award, you must have participated in a volunteer activity at least in part after September 1st. These are the flyers. There are flyers around the school and in the counseling center with information on how students can access the website to submit their applications. Applying for this award makes you eligible to win $1,000 and a trip to Washington, D.C. next May. Please see Ms. Watkins in the Counseling Center for additional information. Okay, now we send Alyssa to get some info of uh, some golfers who play for the Rayburn Golf Team. I'm Coach Campo and this is the golf team at San Jacinto College practicing. The reason why I became a coach is because I like the fact that you get to teach kids about sports that they never would ever play. Where'd it go? My name is Luis uh, De La o. Uh, I joined golf because I play a lot of sports and I wanted to play this one because my deal uh, has played golf, so I was like, this seems fun. I'm good at Wii Sport and uh, golf, I was like, I'm gonna click that. <laughs> I might break the TV sometimes, but I got it. My name is Miriam Siva, this is my fourth year in golf, and I joined because I wanted to try something new. We practice every day during class, and once a week we go off campus to a golf course and uh, get the real experience. The team this year is gonna be amazing. We have a bunch of new people, plus we have a bunch of veterans, and we just have a good, solid group that are going to pass all their classes and do the right thing and come to practice and try real hard in golf. Great job, Alyssa. Audition for the music Anything Goes are Wednesday, November 2nd at 4 p.m. See any theater or choir teacher with questions or concerns. Now you have a video from our very own Makeda getting the inside scoop of Color Guard. Hey guys, I'm Michaela and I'm here with Planet Rayburn. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to go check out Color Guard and see what it's all about. So let's go. Hi, I'm Dominique Velasquez and I'm the captain of the Color Guard. And what made me join Color Guard was back going to the parades when I was in middle school and I was always really interested by what the marching band did. And I always saw those girls like spinning the flags and, I, and I've always wanted to do that. And also the fact that a lot of my friends are in band so I wanted to spend more time with them. I am the lieutenant, which is second in command. Well, what actually happened was somebody came to talk to our school when I was in choir at the time, and they were talking about like what they do, and I thought, oh, that's fun, I want to do that. So I showed up on tryout day, and it kind of went on from there. I liked it, and so I stayed in it, and now I'm here. Color Guard is the visual representation of the music the band plays during the fall season. To join Color Guard, Dirt before the summer so you can come and there's usually a small audition practice you do a small routine with dance with a flag color guard is a mixture of work with dance and equipment the types of equipment that they use is sabers rifles and flags and it is open to all grade levels well guys that was color guard and i hope you enjoyed it um my name is michaela and now back to the studio 
Thanks, Michaela, for the inside scoop on Color Guard, and great work on that Color Guard video. All right, guys, grab a camera and put your photography skills to the test and show your school spirit. It's the Pasadena's first annual Capture the Moment Photo Contest. Photos must represent high school life in Pasadena. The competition is open to any Pasadena ISD high school student. One student from each campus is eligible to win a GoPro Hero 4. Tell your friends and family to like your photos on our Facebook page. Send the photos to studentphotospisd at gmail.com. The entry period ends November 18th at 5 p.m. For more details, please see Ms. Alts Altsdorf. Last week, we introduced a new segment called Student Success Stories. And this week, we are back with another one. This week's Student Success Story is Millennium Saliva. So let's go find out what makes her successful. Miriam Saliva. She's accomplished. From a young age, she knew she wanted to be successful. She's in numerous clubs around the school and even in charge of some of them. We got together with Miriam to see how she does what she does and what it takes to be her. Growing up, Miriam was always taught to work for what she wanted. She always wanted to be great and her parents being teachers definitely played a role in that. Miriam has around 10 awards under her belt from just high school. Until high school, she was limited to the outside world, thus making her life consistent of homework and of course the good old Johnny Cash. At 14, Miriam started a volunteering at the Houston Wildlife Service, where very fortunately her grandmother worked giving her not only a taste of her future career, but a foot in the door, leading her career to being an environmentalist. Miriam's hobbies consist of reading, photography, and even some writing. She is currently in the middle of her own novel. She has been accepted by U of H, Abilene Christian University, and University of Mary Hardin Baylor. What she really wants is to be accepted to Baylor University, where not only is it fantastic in the nation for her studies, but is one of the few that carries environmental studies as a major. As you can tell, Miriam has quite a bright future planned for herself, and she intends to use that to her fullest. And here we have it, Miriam in the flesh. Hello. <laughs> That's Miriam. I'm sure you know, everyone knows Miriam. People think you have to be this person to be who you are and, and what you achieve. What well, can you like, like can you tell them why that's not true? That you can be like normal. <laughs> you can be a normal person and still be really successful. I mean, some people like to define success as making a lot of money or getting really good grades, but honestly, success is what you make it, whether that's scoring all A's or finishing that masterpiece you've been working on for years. You whoever you are, you define your own success and you go out and do it. Wise words from Miriam. Wise words from Miriam. Do you know what we do at the end of every broadcast, Miriam? Yes. No, yes what, I do. What, what is it? Come on, just point like, to the camera and say, stay true to the blue. All right, so on three, I'm going to say remember. And after I say remember, you're going to say, stay true to the blue. And we're going to point to the camera. Okay. All right, so one, two, three. And remember, stay, stay true, true to the blue. Thank you, Alyssa, for the inside story on Miriam Saliva on being this week's student success story. Friday, November 4th, from 4 to 7 p.m. at Maddie's Elementary School in South Houston is the Fall Carnival, and we need volunteers. Please sign up with your counselor to receive a certificate for volunteer hours. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Timothy. And I'm Christian. And tune in next time for the next Planet Raybird. And remember, and remember stay, stay true, true to the blue. blue.